Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Beauty by Lenore across all of my social media platforms. If you would, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, go ahead and like and share and comment amongst your friends. Go ahead and get a conversation started with me in the comment section below. But as you already guessed from the title of this video, today's video is going to be a shoe haul slash fragrance haul for you guys. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get into the haul. You're my beauty one taking me home. For one thing really to one. Okay guys, so the first thing on this list is gonna be all of the fragrances that came in. And the fragrances that I got came in from fragrance net.com i'll leave the information below on where i got the fragrances from but the first fragrance actually came in from scentbird i got one of their scents in and it just blew me away my monthly scentbird that's coming up in my monthly subscription box video that'll be going up sometime next week you guys will see that but the scent that i got in this month's subscription packet from scentbird blew me away i smell the scent Hit the package down and 15 minutes later I had completed my order of the full size fragrance online. As you know with your monthly scent bird subscription, if you actually decide that you like that fragrance, they'll give you $15 off of the price if you decide to purchase the full size. So that's exactly what I did. I went ahead and got the Dolce & Gabbana Intensio and this is a, a Du Parfum. And when I tell you this scent right here, you know, Dolce, they come in a soft velvet box. It's really nice, but no one cares about the box. What we care about is the actual fragrance. When I tell you this fragrance, oh, I just, I just cannot. This fragrance, it's, it's, it's just one of those fragrances that just, I don't know you know when I got it for the first time and actually smelt it I was just like you got to be kidding me like this fragrance is it's a deep woodsy amber type of fragrance it does have very mild floral notes maybe a little vanilla maybe a little floral maybe a hint of citrus but for the most part it's a deep woodsy amber sandalwood musk type of scent it's strong enough to stay with you throughout the day but light enough to not be intrusive or give others a headache and you guys know i love strong scents that are not asinine and i also love strong scents that actually stay with me throughout the day when I'm getting up, getting dressed, taking a shower at 7 a.m. versus when I come home at 6, 7 p.m. from work, I want to still smell the exact same way. This fragrance, if you have a chance, Scentbird, go ahead and try it out for one month and let me know what you think. But if you are close to your local Macy's, Dillard's, Sephora, this might be sold in Ulta, I'm not sure, go in and smell it. I promise you guys, if you smell it just once, if it works as your body chemistry, of course, but if you smell it just once, you're gonna be blown away. The very next scent I got is the OG fragrance. This OG fragrance that I got is a scent that I've been in love with and wearing for like 20 years. I remember living on base at Fort Benning. <laughs> And my dad taking me to the PX and commissary. And inside the PX, you know, they used to have all these huge stands of all of these luxurious, expensive, grown lady perfumes. Since I was still in high school, this is definitely grown lady. Like, uh, well, back in the day, nobody was spending 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars on a bottle of perfume for someone in high school, unless it was a graduation gift. Nowadays, Four of you have $200 bottle of perfumes. You know, things are a lot different now from when I was growing up. But this scent is very, very affordable. Back in the day, not so much. But over time, it has become a very affordable scent. And this is, <laughs> this is one of my number one tried and true. I've purchased this about five or six times in the last 20 years. This is my Sunflowers by Elizabeth Arden. When I say this is just so amazing, like I just can't get over it. It's a light, fresh smell. Um, 
Marc Jacobs just came out with Daisy Sunshine, I think. Is it Daisy Sunshine or Daisy Love that smells a lot like this for three times the price? But this is the Eau de Toilette. And the sunflower scent is just one of those amazing scents that it's timeless. It smells like spring. It smells like summer. But it is an Elizabeth Arden scent. So she does use, even in her Eau de Toilette, she still does use a very oil layer in her scent. So if you've ever smelled Red Door, this or anything else like that, you know it comes across with a very strong scent. <laughs> so literally, when you're getting out the shower, ladies, all you gotta do is just put one spray, spray it about this far from you and aim between your breasts and your groin, that area, that's it. All you really need is one spray. If you do more than one spray, you're gonna be OD. Your coworker's gonna be at work like, you smell good, but you're giving me a headache. I'm going on FMLA. You know what? They might want you to wear this so they can go ahead and leave on it for nobody. But this is one of my tried and true scents. I'm always going to repurchase it. If I ever hear that she's discontinuing it, I'm going to stockpile on it. I can't see myself going without that actual scent. The next scent I got was a scent that um, one of the Glam Twins was talking about. And their monthly favorites a couple of months back. And this is C by Giorgio Armani. And this is what it looks like. Now, the thing about C, and I did get the Eau Perfume, and this is in the one fluid ounce. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you guys. And the Intensio, I got the two point, this is the 2.5 fluid ounce. And then in the Elizabeth Arden Sunflowers, I got the 3.3 ounce. But in the C, I got one ounce, because I trusted their recommendations enough just to order it online, but I was like, eh, I don't know. Let me just order the one ounce. Let me not order the bigger ones. Well, while I was waiting on this to come in the mail, I actually had to make a trip to Sephora to take back that Fenty Beauty Concealer because the Fenty Beauty Concealer did not work for me, so I took that back. And on my trip, I found out the Intensio isn't one that Sephora sells anymore, but they now sell the red one too and this one, and I was able to smell this one and the red one. And the black one I smelled, I forgot, did I go downstairs to Macy's? I went somewhere and I was able to smell the black one. Needless to say, I'm getting the other two too. So you will see the other two coming in the hall too. That's just how good they smell. But this C, it is one of those scents that, ladies, I promise you, this scent is light, it's fresh, it has a more of a floral top note but a musk and citrus undertone to where you smell like a woman, definitely you smell like a woman. You smell like a Valentine's Day woman. This this smells like you finna make some babies whether you plan on it or not. Boo, you getting pregnant with this one. But this scent is a scent that you can spray a spray on the front, you know, a spray on the back. Typically you want to spray right here across your back or lower around the small on your back so that way, you know, the front and the back is covered. So as you're moving and it starts to wear off, it's still a circle of uh, perfume or cologne around you. But this scent, this scent doesn't remind me of any scent that I own, anything else that I have. And you know, I'm not, you guys know I love colognes. I'm not really into perfumes. So the fact that I got this, loved it enough to want to go out and buy the other two sisters in the family as well. This is one of those scents that, this isn't your everyday scent. This is your, mm, I'm finna go out scent, my date night scent, something special. I'm winning an award at work. I'm graduating. I'm going to a graduation. It's something going on that's not your average every day. You will throw this on. But if you're big balling like that, and you can afford to continuously repurchase this scent, then yeah, go ahead and knock yourself out. It'll be your everyday scent. The next scent that I got is, well, both of these scents, um, most of these fragrances actually came from Kohl's. Yeah, the two that I have in my hand, now that I'm about to show you guys, came from Kohl's. When they be having their sales and discounts, and I'm able to use my cold bucks. If I can't get a discount on the actual fragrance, I'll wait and use my cold bucks to get a discount on the fragrance. So the first one coming in is the Michael Kors Sheer. And I did get the 3.4 ounce. Um, my husband and I, we were in Sam's Club. 
during the holidays and Sam's Club had this huge perfume and cologne display. And when I tell you, when we went in there and we smelled this, I was like, Please come home with me. But you know, they have them stuck on the display cart in Sam's Club to where you can't move them. So you literally have to pick up the whole cart and spray it to smell it. It's so stupid. But I couldn't find this. I guess they were all sold out. But when I tell you that the sheer is, it's a light scent. <laughs> Most of these scents are coming across, except for that Elizabeth Art. But it's still a light scent too. Most of these scents, are your light springtime summertime scents that just this scent right here smells very clean very fresh it definitely has some flowers as far as the top scent is concerned the mid note is probably something citrus but deep underneath you can still tell it has a little bit of musk or sandalwood or bare amount something like that to actually ground the scent if, it, if it's not a musk would see earthy amber tone scent to ground the scent i'm not gonna like it because it doesn't work well with my body chemistry but this scent this scent is literally again you only need one spray just one spray of this this is one that i wouldn't even spray on the front of your body this is one that i would literally when you're getting dressed hold your outfit up if it's still on the hanger or whatever and just spray the outfit that's what i would do if i was you because this scent is strong um, but one spray allows it to dissipate enough to where it's still welcoming for those who come within your personal space, but it's not too intrusive to where people can smell you coming down the hallway. But I will tell you, if you walk down the hallway, the smell lingers, a very light scent in the air. Um, I did spray this on and when we left Sam's Club, we went and ran other errands. When I tell you people were walking past me throughout that day and stopping me and walking up to me like, what is that? Well, what do you have on? And I was like, not gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm just playing. I went ahead and told them that it was the Michael Kors Sheer. This is one of those scents to where if someone comes up and hugs you, they'll linger half a second longer just to smell that smell. But if someone walks past you, nine times out of 10, if they're a perfume or cologne junkie, or if they're a person who's very tuned into scents, they're gonna stop and do a double take at you. And nine times out of 10, if they do enough stopping and looking at you, they're gonna come at you and be like, hey, I'm sorry, I don't mean to bother you, but are those Beagle Boy jeans you, are those Beagle Boy jeans you wearing? Hell no. Nah, mm. Let me stop. Let me stop. I don't know where that trick daddy just came from. <laughs> but they will stop and ask you what you're wearing. So this is an amazing, beautiful scent. I definitely encourage you guys to go get this one as well. Or go into your local stores, Macy's, Dillard's, Sephora, Ulta, and JCPenney, if they still have a fragrance counter, or Dillard's, and just see if they have it and smell it. I trust you. Trust me. And I think a lot of the counters now actually do perfume samples where they can make you a sample of the perfume. So that's another way you guys can really hone in on getting some scents to try to see if you like them. And the last one I got as far as perfume and colognes are concerned is the Michael Kors. This is the Extreme Blue. And this is the cologne. This is going to be a, a du toilet, and this one is four ounces. And I don't know if I told you, but the Michael Kors Sheer was 3.4 ounces. So this is four ounces. Now, when I sprayed this, of course, I loved it. I love cologne on women. Um, because with the cologne, you can literally get away with spraying just one spray on your hips or on your belly or on the small of your back and it will literally stay with you all day. You'll literally take your clothes off and when you go to hang your clothes up, if you haven't got dirty and they need to be washed or dry clean, you know what I'm saying? When you get ready to go hang your clothes up for the day, when you got home from work or from school or from church, your closet will start to smell like that. Every time you walk into your closet, you're like, <sighs> it's something like the game commercial. You're like, what is this? <laughs> but here's the actual bottle, guys. And when I tell you, when I sprayed it again, I loved it. Completely loved it. Oh, my husband is so amazing too. This is this is one that, you know, I got for him, but I'll probably sneak and spray and spray from time to time too. <laughs> but when I tell you, this scent is so amazing. Um, you guys know how I feel about clones on women. So for me, it's that deep woodsy, 
bear mount type of amber sandalwood type undertones probably top notes too but that mid note that mid note is some citrus lime it's something different very 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 different with this and on a man <laughs> Ladies, have you ever went on a date or have you ever smoked one of your coworkers or have you ever been out in public and just been in a man's presence and you just smelt it and you was like, well, damn, excuse me, sir. My number is five, 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 five. Let me stop. Or if you have been in the personal space of your guy, your boo, your man, your whatever. And you know, you go to smell the small of his neck right here and you're just like, <sighs> and it just, he just smells so good. His side of the bed just smells like, Jesus, I hope you're over 18 watching my videos because I'm not for people under the age of 18. <laughs> this scent, <sighs> This scent smells like a man who will ruin your credit and ruin your life, but you can't get enough of it. I'm, I'm sorry, there's no other way to explain that. He is gonna run your credit and run your life, but darn it to hell if you ain't going back for seconds, thirds, fifths, sixths, your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister didn't told you so. Everybody didn't ask you why, or what are you doing? And you like, I'm not going back, meanwhile, Uber's already on the way to take you to him. That's this scent right here, boo. Trust me when I tell you, this scent right here, yeah, that's that scent for you. Okay, so next thing up on the list is going to be shoes. I don't have as many shoes this time as I did last time, and most of these shoes are gonna be athletic shoes, so I'm gonna start off with the heels first, and then we're gonna go into the athletic shoes since I've been getting really into sweat shoes, sweats, <laughs> sweat suits and joggers and different things like that. I've really been beefing up my tennis shoe collection. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about two of the items that I talked to you guys about last time. The first one is the sure step. This is what you put on the bottom of your uh, church shoes, high heels, sandals, whatever that have a slippery bottom. So this way you're not slipping when you walk across tile, marble, floors, and different things like that. This is the grip that you just stick on the bottom that helps them grip. I got all of this from Shoe Show. So if you guys, well, the first two pair I got from Shoe Show, the last pair I got from Kohl's, we'll go over that. But if you guys have a shoe show in your area, if not, just go to shoeshow.com. They definitely have them. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure Payless and them have these too. Um, these were $3.99. And these are the heel liners because from time to time, the back of my heels will hurt uh, the high heel area on my actual ankle. So I have to put these on. And my Jordans. I don't know if anybody else Jordans, the back of the Jordan around the back part of my ankle, it hurts. That's the reason why I hate wearing my Jordans. So I got these actually to put inside my Jordans because they was getting on my nerves. And these were also $3.99. So they'll really help relieve the pressure and things in your actual shoes, whether it's sneakers, dress shoes, high heels, or sandals, depending on how they're made. But the first pair of shoes we got in is coming in from Hot Tomato. And these were normally $24.99. They were on sale for $15. I had a coupon. I got them for $9.99. And I just needed some white pumps, just some plain white pumps. So that is exactly what I went ahead and got. Plain white. Hopefully, my camera isn't washing them out and you guys can see it pretty well. So these are my plain white pumps. A statement piece I went ahead and got. And they already have the ridging here and also the ridging here with the actual heel. So I don't have to worry about adding or doing anything with them. And they're wide width, so I don't have to worry about putting anything here to cushion around my ankle because this part from time to time can hurt the back of my ankles. But this is what we got in. And the next thing I got in also from 
shoe show is coming in from Fila. I needed some all white shoes. I really didn't care the brand, whether it was Nike, Reeboks, Adidas, Fila, Champion, Jordan. I, I really didn't care. I just needed some all white sneakers. Um, I wanted some all white Air Forces, but they were sold out in my size and I, I was too lazy. I could have ordered them online, but I just wanted them to need them then that day. So I went ahead and got me some all white Fila's. And these were $34.99 at Shoe Show. I got them on sale, so I wanted up paying, I paid $22.99 for them. And they're high tops, but not too high. Like, your regular shoe stops right here. That's where your regular shoe stops. So this will go up about three quarters of an inch higher on the back of your heel, and in the front it goes up high like a high top. So it's uh, it's kind of, it's in between a mid top and a high top, to be honest, which is not quite a mid top, and it's not quite a low, definitely not a low top, duh. But here they are. So these, I got and I absolutely love. And while I have the lights turned down low, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the other shoe as well. And this one is coming in from Kohl's. And again, with Kohl's, if you can't use a 10%, 15, 20, or 30% off coupon, they have sales every week all the time. So there's no reason why you should ever pay full price for anything at Kohl's, unless it's just something that's excluded from coupons. And in that case, wait for the Kohl's dollar sales to start happening. Buy whatever you gotta buy. Wait for the items you couldn't get a discount on, and then go back and use your Kohl's bucks to get them or get a discount on it. Cause that's how I do it. But this one came in from Kohl's. And this is the Fila Memory Prime Forcer. These were the first Fila's I got two months ago. Uh, yeah, I got these in December from Kohl's. When I got my Fila, most of my Fila sweatsuits, I have a clothing haul coming up for you guys, so it's coming. <laughs> clothing hauls are just so hard, <laughs> but it's coming, guys. I promise you, it's coming. And I wore these already, so these are what they look like. And of course, I wore them, so they're dirty, but... There you go. And like I was saying, I went ahead and got those to match my jogging suits and my sweatsuits that I got. That's the end of this haul. Hopefully you've seen something that you really like that you can go out to the store. Or I've given you some great information to use when you're shopping for name brands, especially at Kohl's, on how you can get the biggest bang for your actual buck while saving money in the process. But again, guys, thank you so much for coming and spending some time with me. And again, I don't care when you watch me, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, late at night, lunch break, sneaking off to the toilet. Girl, I don't care. I'm just happy that you came to spend some time with me. And until next time, YouTube, thank you.